I want to wear the Troday outfit for a bit. Yeah, look how much this fits with the Troday outfit. Oh, dude, look at this sword. Wait, does my cape block it? Oh my word. So with cape outfits, no wonder I haven't questioned, like, I didn't praise it before, because when you wear capes, they just don't show your sword. Makes sense, because there's a cape, but that's a little lame. Alright, well, I'm gonna wear this anyway. It makes sense why, but that's so lame. I like seeing the cool sword design. I like being like Cloud Strife, having the sword on your back. Wouldn't make sense though to have it over the cape, so it makes sense. It's just really, it, it's just something I forgot. I've been, I wore the Savior of the Sands once I got it, and then I switched to Drusillian. Drusillian words. So I switched to Drusillian. Oh, my goodness, that's so hard to say. I switched to Drusillian, and I couldn't see the sword. I forgot what it's like to have the sword on your back. We'll stick with Trodane, though, for a bit. Oh, we got some new enemies. The Ice Cups, or Ice Cubs, not Cups, clearly. I love this Razor Fang Blade, dude. Looks so awesome. Can I just keep this for as long as I live? I wish there were weapon skins in this game. After playing Tales of Arise, every game needs weapon skins. Every modern game needs weapon skins. To have the appearance of a single sword and have something else, like properties of another. Everything needs weapon skins nowadays. Because it's gonna be sad when I have to give this sword up. Eventually I'm gonna have to, unfortunately. Get consumed by darkness. <laughs> Alright, so the snare fell must bring me to, uh, what's it called? There's two areas for the snare fell, so one must bring me later. Ooh! You're a bear! You're like the thing we fought in the entrance to Hodo. They're not Hodo, but like the entrance to the, to Mount Fuji. Yeah, Ursa Minor, the exact thing. <laughs> So we, technically, we technically have seen this thing already. We did it, darlings! This sword looks so cool, dude. How close am I to level up? Pretty close. How many new enemies do we have in this location? Four, okay. I figured there'd be a lot because we're in the snow region, so we're bound to get a lot. Are these new pterodactyls or are those the same? I'm gonna fight one regardless. Let's go! These guys are new. Oh yeah, Chilodon. The Chilonodon. These are new. They're reskins of the pterodactyls, but they're not the same ones we fought. Die. So unnecessary on that silver cup, but oh well. Burn to the ground. We're in a realm of ice, so it's only natural. I wonder if there's a uh, password here. There probably is. Is there one in the Snivelheim region? No, okay, there's one... Alright. There's none in the Snivelheim region. They're a little bit later on. We still got a good ways to go before we look for passwords. Just gonna keep playing the story for now. Thank you. Midi metal. Don't mind if I do.
I want it. Ba, ba, ba. There should still be like three, two to three enemies left that we haven't seen. We will find them when the time is right. Alright, I don't know which snare fell is better to go to, but I want to go down here regardless. So give me the horse hailer. Might be the one up there. Right now, I'm just trying to get all the treasure. I have a branch. And perma snow. Perma snow is gonna come in handy at some point. I don't remember when. <laughs> Poor little cub. Not in personnel. Seed of sorcery. Is that the magic seed? Raises wisdom or magical might, rather. Probably seed of... Start from here. Yeah, I've got two of them. Give one to Veronica and one to Rab. Serena spends her time healing, so it's not that important on her. Oh, that's a new enemy. The bongo thing. I'm on the cutting edge. Unbridled Blade takes so much MP and it's so overkill. Yeah, cutting edge kills. Unbridled Blade is just unnecessary. I don't want to kill the Silver Cub. That was so adorable. Sorry, I had no choice. That means one left. Three. Okay. Still quite a bit to go then. I'll try going down here. I think one of these leads us to somewhere later in the game. So only one of these is like the right way. They're both a snare felt though. Yeah, this one's the right way? Either way, I'm gonna grab that campfire just cuz I can. Crevins. Because then we can zoom back there. We're gonna have to go back there eventually. Ace Invader. I just felt like using Unbridled Blade. We desperately need a new sword move on so bad though. We have Dragon Slash, but that doesn't really come in handy unless you're fighting a dragon. I'm not done yet. <laughs> oh, these are called Dragon Slimes. Nice. <laughs> Maybe Dragon Slash would be good on them. I don't know. Alright. Does this count as the same area? He's got some new enemies here too. Okay. Oh, you can ride this thing! Definitely gonna want to do that, then. <laughs> Dang it, Eric. You missed that one hit. That hit could have mattered. Oh my goodness, these guys have a lot of HP. Or just high physical defense. Easy dodge. Alright, that did a lot. Try the Hawkeye Claw. Alright, that was sick. Not that much damage, but the animation was cool. Die. Who else wants? Dude, I love how this sword literally looks like a scythe. That's what I love about it. Alright, I'm gonna ride this thing. Easy crit. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, calm down. It's not that serious. Another day, another victory. Oh yeah, you get to like run over walls with this. Wait, I want to get the campfire because I'm going to want that for, what's it called? For later. I love being able to run through walls with this, it's so fun. Ooh. You're like a, you're a color ult of a Spitzfire? Spitzfire? Not Spritz, it's Spitz, I think. That's really cool. Oh, the luminary is like inside of it. Okay. So it's like he's riding it like a mech. Oh, you guys are all new. These are all the new enemies we need. Slime sickles. I hate it. Thanks, Dragon Quest, for the puns. Hear me out. Because Veronica's got group fire spells, and I feel like Crackle isn't very effective on these enemies. Yeah, and the Blade is just too broken, dude. It's just too good. So Vandal just charm that enemy? Or some nonsense? Burn to the ground. Are you kidding me? What happened there? I got reflected? What did you do that reflected me? That is something. Yeah, that's what you get. I don't know what that nonsense was, but we got it. Fight you. Just licked its weapon, huh? That's really what we're doing? Get America. Nice crit. Not necessary, but nice crit. I appreciate unnecessary crits. So, one more enemy we need, I think? Oh my goodness, they just keep adding more! Or maybe I didn't see that second page, that's also possible. I'm not too worried about that. Right now, I just want to get to the campfire. Let's do this. Should be getting level 20, 23. 33 on the Luminary, probably in a fight or two. Eric just got a level up, and apparently the characters have different level rates, which... I never really understood what the point of that is. Some characters leveling up faster. Pokemon does it too, where certain Pokemon level up slower than others. Never understood the point of it. It especially doesn't make sense in an RPG like this. But it's it's whatever. I'm starting to believe it. Score one for the good guys! I just don't get it because like, you know. Just have like the same XP values. It just doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. There's the campfire. Can I jump down there? Yeah, I can. Okay. I'm not gonna go this way. Arborea Highlands is where we go next after the uh, Snibbleheim events. Might as well do this to level up the forge. More focus. Thank you. So we don't have to worry about the monsters because some are probably towards the Arborean Highlands. Hi! Let's do this. Why on earth did I open Mozilla Firefox? My mistake. I meant to open my Google Chrome. I wanted to look at my, uh... My checklist. Yeah, that's better. I don't know why I opened Mozilla Firefox by mistake. 
That was a mistake and a half. Holy cow, there's a lot of stuff to get in the snare felt. Who else most of it is not towards the Arborian dying. Highlands, though, so we can get most of it now, which is nice. I mean, if I really want to, I can go there now, but I'm not going to. Any... I see a sparkling spot right there. Mirror stone, huh? Alright, I'm not, I'm not riding that thing unless the game makes me to, like, break down a pile of snow. I see some minerals or ore right here. Nice try, game. Nice try. Platinum ore. Second best Pokemon game. First things first, the hill goes first. Ooh, you're new. Oh, you're the classic mech hunter. Hunter mechs, all right, all right, all right, hunter mechs. I see how it is, game. I said, I said mech hunters, and they say, oh, it's actually hunter mech. Yeah, screw off, game. I, I knew the enemy. That doesn't count. I basically said it. <laughs> I knew the enemy type. I just didn't know hunter came before mech. It's whatever. Basically the same thing. Yeah, I love these things. Classic Dragon Quest enemy right here. And I have I have heroes too to thank for that. Knowing all the monsters by name. If I didn't put 200 hours into that game to platinum it, then I would not know these names that well. Man, I can't wait to platinum this game. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a ton of fun. I did not mean to all the run, my mistake. What's astounding to me is like we're like almost 30 hours in the game and we're like we're almost done with act one, but we're bare we're like we're still in act one. It's just funny. I know I knew I know this game is long, but it blows me away. This is like the sixth stream, I think. Because I started streaming this like the last day of May or something. And I've streamed two times a week ever since that day, so this is the sixth stream of the game. And we're like nearly, we're gonna be like a little bit above 30 hours by the time we're done with today. We're definitely gonna get to act the interlude next time though, like for sure. Today's a bit of a wager, it depends on how long the side quests take us that we get here in Snivelheim. Or if I want to go do the Tickington stuff, because I might want to do the Tickington stuff before moving on to Act 2. I might keep that rule for Tickington. Just do every single quest and every single Tickington thing before moving on to Act 2. I think that's how I'm gonna do Victory. it. So we might not get to Act- the interlude. I'm gonna call it the interlude. We might not get there because I wanna do all the quests and Tickington stuff, but... Next time for sure. Guaranteed. <laughs> Love that damage. Which is also why I wouldn't be able to tell you which act is the longest, because I myself don't really know. I just consider them all, like, give or take the same Dad, length. Which I feel like is accurate. I feel like they're basically the same length. I When I do this playthrough, I'll have a better idea. Because basically, however many parts it took me to get through Act 1 is how long they are. How long it took me. But they're so close in length that I just consider them all, like, basically the same length. Which, if it takes like 30 hours per act, then that means we're looking at like 90 hours minimum for the story. How's it going? You wanna watch yourself in the cold, man? I've heard all kinds of things, kinds of tales, travelers heading out into the snare felt unprepared, ending up as icicles. No matter how tired you get, don't even think about catching some Z's, otherwise you'll be next, you'll be next bedded in a box. Alright. You know, I've been no, thinking. I, yeah, yeah, I know you've been thinking. I didn't mean to talk to you again. Interesting story. Yeah, I guess I, I mean. should talk to the other two. It's so cold around here, you start shivering as soon as you uh. stand still. I know what we can do to heat things up. Fancy joining me in the little fire breathing, honey. It's sure to warm your cockles. Where's Veronica? There's something I want to talk to you about. If we can get rid of the wicked witch who froze Snivelheim solid, her spell might be broken. Queen says she was hiding in the hex wood to the north of the snare belt. What are we waiting for? Northward ho. 
All right, I thought you would have dialogue not relating to the story, but I was wrong. Veronica's dialogue was basically, hey, this is what we're doing. Let's go to Hexwood. Kind of a waste of my time, but whatever. Where is the monster I need? Because I need to break that snowball. 